Now we're going to use the shell command to create this corner bracket. The purpose of this lesson is to help you develop a stronger understanding of how to apply the shell command. You typically won't use the shell command to create a part like this, but this part has the basic components you'll need in any part that's constructed with the shell command. Start by creating a new part file. We're going to extrude a 2 inch cube, but this time we're going to select the extrude command instead of creating a sketch first. Click the command. This simply lets SolidWorks know that when we exit the sketch, we plan to open the extrude command. So when we exit the sketch, SolidWorks will automatically open the extrude command. The next step is to create a sketch on one of the planes. Select the top plane, and just as we've done in the past, this creates sketch 1. Now draw a center point rectangle on the origin. And then add a dimension to the right side. Set it to 2 inches. And then select the right and bottom lines and set them equal to each other. Now we have a clean sketch that can easily be edited. It's fully defined, and now we're ready to exit the sketch. Before we do, I want to remind you that we created the sketch by clicking the extrude command. When we exit the sketch, the extrude command will automatically open. Click the command. And as you can see, the boss extrude command is open. Set the length of the extrusion to 2 inches, And now I want you to notice the number of ways we can apply this operation. We can click this green check. We can click this green check. We can right click and select this green check. And we can type the inner key. It's nice to know that you have these options, but when you're working with SolidWorks in a professional environment, you should limit the number of options you use on a regular basis. For example, most of the time we've been typing the inner key to apply the commands. It's faster than clicking the green check, and all the commands respond the same way. Simply type the inner key to end any command. Now we're exploring a new method of creating sketches and evoking the extrude command. Let's apply this operation and we'll talk about this for just a minute. I prefer to use the inner key, but use any method you prefer. The only commands that can create a sketch and then automatically open are the extrude and revolve commands. The other commands are too dynamic to use this methodology, so you need to create sketches or other geometry before you evoke the commands. It's my opinion that it's easier to execute the commands if you use the same process every time. Create the sketches and geometry required for the command, and then open the command. Using one process for a couple of commands and then another process for the other commands makes it a little more confusing and detracts from your work. So from now on, we're going to create the geometry required to execute commands, and then we'll open them. We're not far off track from the topic of this lesson because now we're setting up surfaces for a shell operation. Once you've set up the surfaces, you can apply the command. Open the fillet command. Set the radius to half an inch. Make sure that full preview is checked. And then select these edges. Type the enter key. And then open the fillet command again. Set the radius to 3 quarters of an inch, and then select this edge. Now apply the command. Now you can see the surfaces we'll use in the shell operation. These surfaces will be offset 125 thousandths of an inch to create the part. And this is an excellent example of how to set up the shell operation. Apply all the commands required to create the main surfaces of the part, and once you've done that, you can use the shell command. Open the shell command. Set the thickness of the wall to 125 thousandths of an inch. Click the surfaces to be removed window, and then select these surfaces. Now type the inner key. 
We've got one last feature to add and then we'll be finished with this part. We're going to use the extrude command to cut a hole through both sides. Create a sketch on the side of the part. And then set the view to the normal view. Draw a circle centered on the three quarter inch arc. And then set the diameter to one quarter of an inch. Exit the sketch. And then set the view to the isometric view. Open the extruded cut command. Select the circle. And then set the end condition to through all. Type the inner key to apply the operation. In this lesson we focused our attention on the fact that you need to set up sketches and geometry for a particular command and then execute the command. All commands use this general procedure but the shell command requires you to set up the surfaces you want to keep on the part. Once you've done that you can apply the shell operation. Before you proceed to the next lesson, Save the file under the name Corner Bracket.